As you all know, Sony introduced their triple camera system with the Xperia 1. And the Xperia 5 takes that already tasty triple camera system and sprinkles just a little bit of salt and pepper on there as well. Now, just to recap, Sony's triple camera system consists of this 26 millimeter wide angle lens, this 52 millimeter telephoto lens, which is also used for the bokeh effect, and of course, this 16 millimeter ultra wide angle lens to capture like everything. In addition to this, Sony have also put in some exclusive Sony Alpha camera tech into the Xperia 5. One of these awesome bits of tech is raw noise reduction, which basically means that your nighttime shots are going to look absolutely epic. And also 4K HDR video recording, so you get the maximum dynamic range and all of the colours in the highest resolution possible. Now, on your screens now, you should be able to see the brand new Xperia 5 and the simply gorgeous Alpha 6400. Now, both of them are demonstrating a feature that Sony is renowned for in the photography world, which is eye autofocus. So, both these cameras don't just track objects, they don't just do face detection, they're tracking my freaking eyeball and following me around the frame so that every shot you take is perfectly in focus. Thanks to Sony's eye autofocus and their truly versatile triple camera system, you always get the perfect shot. But wait, there's more. This could be the most powerful filmmaking tool Sony has ever produced. Imagine a world where if you think it, you can make it. You mean like Green Lantern? Because I hated that movie. This is serious, damn it! Coming this fall. It's too advanced, Dom. Only professionals use this. No, you're wrong. I'm talking white balance locking, more focus options, the ability to edit your clips together as you're filming, even audio input control. That's crazy. It will never happen. It already has. You're right, Dom. You're right all along. Spread the word. It's coming. Cinema Pro. Back. And. Better. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We actually filmed that using Cinema Pro on the Xperia 5, but I'll give you a brief rundown of some of the new features and why they're awesome. First up, white balance locking. Not only do you have control over your white balance in Cinema Pro, but you can now lock it so that it doesn't change during a shot or from shot to shot. This is super useful to keep your resulting film looking nice and consistent. And also if you're processing a whole batch of shots in your chosen editing software afterwards. Then we've got sound control. Just by tapping the stereo sound input levels, you can customise the gain of the internal microphones. This is perfect if you're in a quiet environment and you want to pick up just the lowest whisper. Or in a loud environment and you don't want your audio to clip. Next up, we've got some more focusing options. Now, this is actually a little bit more advanced, but at the same time, easier to use. Pulling focus means you're able to choose two focus points and switch between them. And this can actually be quite challenging on a professional camera rig. But the new Cinema Pro app on the Xperia 5 allows you to set these two points and easily switch between them and adjust how quickly it makes that switch. And last up, now you can actually trim your video clips within Cinema Pro before stitching them together, meaning that your workflow as a filmmaker is super streamlined. Once you've filmed your project, you can hit this little edit icon and trim your clips to their desired length, and then stitch the clips together for a finished film. So, there you have it. Sony's most versatile camera setup packed into a compact design. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more Xperia tips.